so you've recently decided to purchase a bush lava, especially the miscrow, but you're unsure what it is like to live with um, the caravan and also you maybe have some questions about the interior of the caravan. Let me share our experience with you. Hey everyone, Henk here from 4 Wheeling SA and today I will take you through 7 point what it is like living with the Bushla Palmascra especially focusing on the inside of the caravan. So let me start by showing you the inside area, especially the, the beds. So it sleeps four people easily. This is the, um, I would call this the main bed. It's the easiest one to get access to. And um, yeah, basically the size of a, of a double bed. Lights on, on top of the bed that you can switch on easily, especially it's the yellow lights that helps a lot for the bugs. Then over here we've got the, we would call it the secondary bed. We usually, the kid sleeps here. Um, the problem here is this area there. You can sometimes bump your head. It, it has happened a couple of times. Now with the newer model has got some changes here, but it doesn't happen that frequent. And I like that it's got a rigid structure. I think maybe it helps with strength. And what you can also see is that this is still the roof that tilts like this. Um, for me, this is ample of it, room and In terms of interior storage space, um, you've got all of these so you can put your clothes. We usually, I put my clothes here, but in general we don't always use it for clothes. We put other stuff there, maybe keep a separate bag in the car, but yeah, enough space for four people. And then behind there is also more storage space where you can all put all kinds of stuff. We've never been able to, to fill it up, so it's more than sufficient for us. The next thing is the stove of the bush lapa. Now, it's not the most fancy stove. Um, it, it's actually pretty basic, but what's nice about it, it's, it's very robust. You won't get that the nozzles or anything get, get blocked. So it works no problems. And I think that's one of the things about the bush lapa. It's pretty much um, bulletproof. There's not a lot that can go wrong with it. And well, if you need something to boil water quicker, you can do it but i mean we make coffee once or twice a day and then food so we've never had any problems with it and then it's got one single gas bottle in the nose cone that supply the gas for the stove so for the fridge um, area we've got a national lunar fridge it's a uh, 50 or 55 liter i think for us, it's, it's, it's more than enough. If we need more space, we can always put another fridge in the car. And then we've put, put these boxes around it. We can just put in loose items so that they don't fall it around. The fridge is not tied down. Um, I suppose it can bump around on bad roads, but we've never had this as a problem. Obviously, to tie down is better, but you know, for now, it's not tied down. In terms of the kitchen area, um, sorry it's a bit of a <laughs> mess, we're on a short camping trip, but for us it's sufficient space. Um, we didn't get the cutlery that comes with the bush lapa, so we better made a bit of a plan and made use of what we had. But you can order it with that with your own glasses and mugs and plates and things like that. What we did order with it is these um, lights what looking back at it what i would have changed is maybe just put a light in each um, compartment it just helps in the evenings because some of the areas is a bit dark but yeah for us it's also it's simple and it's more than enough space for us to store everything in terms of the nose cones i usually use it just to put some tent pegs and the gas bottle is in there my rubber mallet and um, electrical power cords and put the bags in there once we've, we've set up camp 
what I can say is that I've got one of the earlier models that still has a big nose cones. The newer ones does have a smaller nose cones. I'm not sure what the reason is for that, but yeah, they are a bit smaller. And the nose cone on the other side that just used to um, store my um, the ground sheets. If they are wet or whatever, it's not a problem. You can just put them in there. And um, in between, I've got the the jerry can holders. I've got two jerry cans in there. I don't really always use them so I suppose you can put another box in there but for me I'd also try to keep the weight down as on, on the nose as well so there's not too much weight on the back of the vehicle. The storage on the other side of the trailer on the other side of the kitchen uh, so I've just put some extra boxes in there I've put like a, a gas bra in there which I, you can use when the weather is not um, great for uh, for a normal fire and also like a spare gas holder a bottle and um, some lights and things like that a nice area just to put some stuff I know some of the guys put a, a geyser in there a gas geyser I don't use that the places where we go we usually have warm water and um, yeah that's it for the for the side storage area And that's the that's the review of the bush lapa muskrat on the interior a couple of points around that and thank you so much for watching if you want to see more about the bush lapa I've made a video previously I'll link it up here um, on how to set it up and how to take it down thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe and see you on the next one